Now, while we are talking about vaccines, we do have some promising news on Canada's fight against COVID-19, a homegrown vaccine in the final stages of trials and could be ready for Health Canada to review this summer. That is encouraging. With the very latest on the Quebec-based Medicago is Executive Vice President of Scientific and Medical Affairs, Natalie Landry. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is promising news. I think we spoke months ago when um, we were first hearing news of Medicago. It sounded wonderful to have something homegrown, domestic. And now we are in the process where we are already seeing the vaccines rolled out. So let's talk about where Medicago stands with phase two and what you're actually looking forward to for the next round of approvals. So the phase two is completed and we have reported uh, the results uh, this week. And the phase three is ongoing. So the phase three is the last step uh, before submitting uh, the dossier to the regulators. And the phase three is a study where the efficacy of the vaccine will be evaluated. And that's a very important step to prove that the vaccine is effective. After that, we submit our dossier and we seek for uh, approval from uh, regulatory authorities. So when we look at the approvals, by the time all of this is said and done, and, and this is again, very encouraging, um, most people would likely be fully vaccinated. So are we more so looking ahead to potentially booster shots down the road? So there, there's two possibilities. So the Canadian government has secured a number of do doses from uh, the Canadian, uh, from Medicago. We intend to deliver. So the option for the Canadian uh, government is, of course, to donate those doses to country in need of vaccination. I think in Canada, we are in a uh, favorable position compared to other countries. The other uh, things that were contemplated as well is uh, should this vaccine can be used as a booster dose. As we know, uh, there are some data suggesting that a booster dose may be needed uh, in a year or two from now. And we are contemplating that a possibility as well. Natalie, so much conversation about what actually goes into these vaccines. You know, there's sort of everyone talking about the mRNA, there's the Pfizer, Moderna, and then you're looking at Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca. How does Medicago uh, tee up? What does it look like technology-wise for, for Canadians to know? So it's different than mRNA. So this is not the technology we use. It's different than uh, Janssen and AstraZeneca that are replicated uh, vectors. What we do is recombinant protein. So um, it's a technology or a, a product that it would be similar to what Sanofi and Novavax are currently uh, evaluating in clinical studies. So what we do is that we express the antigen in the plants and our technology allows for the vaccine to be a virus-like particle. So it looks like a virus, but it's not infectious. And this is what we use as a vaccine. So it's in third category of technology that is coming uh, to the market. This could be a game changer in the next few months. And again, hopefully uh, you're, you're waiting for the summer for the final approvals, yes? Yes, uh, okay. this is a, uh, we, we track the situation uh, daily. So I work uh, hopeful to have a demonstration this summer. I love it. Uh, Natalie, please do stay in touch and we'd love to get you back on here once you get those approvals. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, that is great news. And Frankie, plant-based. Yeah, you amazing technology. Yeah, I was uh, doing some research on this just a few years ago as well. And it's good to see this come to fruition in Canada as well. So that's another way to grow the agriculture, the horticultural sector as well.